This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Pounds versus Gibson. Ms. Pounds, you all have been dating, but you say you have invested time, energy, your emotions, and maybe most importantly, your money in this relationship, and you believe he's cheated and you think your investment is not worth anything. Tell us why you opened this case. I think what this was was a bad investment. Okay. Mr. Gibson was living in another state, okay. and we met online, and we clicked. Just like best friends, like we knew each other forever. We talked every day for months, for hours. It was like feelings developed and he started to say he wanted to be with me. Okay. So I paid for him to come from another state to be with me because he didn't like where he was and he wanted a fresh start with me. When he said that, and I knew things about him through conversation. Right. He liked fish and he liked hunting. I said, I can save money at the grocery store. I'll never go hungry if I get with him, so I gave him a chance. All right, yeah. Mr. Gibson, she's accusing you of cheating. What do you think about that? Hey, Yon, I'm here to uh, prove my innocence. Okay. I have not been cheating on this lady. Okay. I know for past history or not, I had pictures or whatnot in my phone, but I need to get a award, because so I'm here to prove my innocence today. Right. Have you tried to convince her that you have not been cheating? Yes, plenty of times. Yes. I had to tell her, hey, because the pictures or whatnot don't mean I'm cheating. I, hey, those in the past. Hey, let's go forward. Miss Pounds, yes. since you opened this case, why do you think he's cheating? Really, your, your courtroom don't have enough time for me to tell you all the reasons. <laughs> That's the truth. Wow. But okay. Mr. Gibson will get up in the morning, his phone will ring. He'll look at the phone. They don't answer it. So one morning I got off work, I look at the phone, I see a woman name. Mm -hmm. That's my, my family member. I said, call her, let me talk to her, since she your family member. He picked up the phone and just started talking. He never called anybody. <laughs> he said this. He said, now, the name is on the phone. He called and acted like somebody else. He said, hey, where's, she, where's my family member? Well, tell her, call me back and put the phone down, never call nobody. All right, Mr. Gibson. Did you do that? Did you really, did you really put a phone up in your head and start talking no, without even no, dialing or pushing a button or anything? No, no sir. What happened? It's my, it's my family member. She just moved from Indiana. She had never met anyone on my father's side. No one and other than my father. I still haven't met her. But if I do let her meet her, she's still not going to believe it. And that's okay, but the fake phone call, though, I mean... There wasn't no fake phone call. <laughs> she was so... She be, she, when she get in that frantic, tantric mode, she don't pay attention or would not listen. I'm, I'm imagining a scenario, and I know I keep, keep talking about this, but I'm just trying to imagine a scenario. Okay, I'll show you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, is, is she there? Okay, now nah, tell her call her back. See, told you. <laughs> That, that is just... what he do. That's not true. Yeah. And you're saying that didn't happen? When I pass this test, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna let her meet her. Okay. Well, I hope you get to pass this test. Well, I, know I, I, I know I haven't cheated or anything. Right. Hey, well, hey, that's the perfect me coming. Miss Pounds, have you observed anything else that make you think that Mr. Gibson is cheating? I ain't got enough time to tell you everything I observe, but I'm gonna tell you this. My phone start blowing up messages. Some woman said she was at my house with him. Oh. Said she'd been in my bed. Said she'd been in my, in my house. She knew my name, first and middle. She knew certain things I had in my house. She knew I, what type of vehicle I drove. She knew what shift I worked. She told me when I go to work, he come to her. Let me ask you this. What did she say about Mr. Gibson? He has a nickname. He goes by the nickname Black. To me, I never call him that. That's some low stuff, black. He tells everybody when you meet him, I'm black. He don't go by his first name. I don't, anybody who know me, know him, they him, all my friends know him by his first name. Okay. They, they don't even know him. Nobody associated with me calls him black. So it would have to be somebody who he, he knows and is told to call him that. Yes. Mr. Gibson, Mr. Gibson, how does this woman know all of these details about Miss Powell gotta, and about you? It gotta be someone she know. 
Why? It, got, it got to be because, first of all, I'm not on social media, period. How do you explain, then, the level of detail that this woman messaged Miss Pounds with? I had the slightest idea, but I'm here to... A lot of tests go, go prove everything. Let me ask him this. Do you know this woman? No, I do not. You, you don't know anything about this woman? No, I do not. You've never met her? No. Never dated her? No. Didn't sleep with her? No. Haven't slept with her since you've been with her? No, I haven't slept with no one since I've been with her. This is crazy. Hey, the test is gonna prove it all. <sighs> Ms. Pounds, do you... You say you got a lot of reasons why you think he's cheating. Can you give me another one? Mm. I think text messages... Actually, it was one woman I called back, but it was women. These are text messages between this other woman and him? Yes. I had his phone. I was looking where they was talking, and I texted the woman. I said, this is his woman. I got his phone. Who are you? And she was like, wow. And I took the phone in there to him, but at that time, I took my phone and I had saved her number. I, I took the phone to him, he jumped out of bed, ran to the bathroom. And the woman said, she don't know nothing about me. Yeah, I got, I got evidence right here. You All brought right. something with you? The okay. woman don't know nothing about me. He told her he's single, he lived by himself, got a nice job, nice truck. Oh, Ron, would no, you no, no, nothing document? about me. Yes, ma'am. None of the women know nothing about me, he's single. Thank you. He's single. That's yeah. what he tells him. <laughs> he ain't got no woman. Okay. Yeah, so this picture you sent, you sent it to her saying, look, this is my man. We're in a relationship. Yeah, because she didn't know nothing about me. Didn't know anything about you. Yeah. And she responds, okay, y'all, got, no got it. No pressure. Right. So who is this woman and why does she think she's, you're single? Well, at the time, yeah, I was still on, on the app browser. On what app? A dating app? Yeah, a dating app, yes. I know you think you answered my question. And you're real good at avoiding the answer. I asked you, who is this woman and why does she think that you are single? Why does she think that? Unless you like, told it's her... because I didn't tell her I was single. It's probably because of we were chatting. So evidently, if we were chatting, that means I must have been single to her. And that's a reasonable presumption for her to make right since you're on a dating app. Yeah. Right? But he's yeah. already said, I don't do social media. So why, how is he that on was, the dating that? Was, that was then. That's, that's not really that's then. There ain't no reason to that, That's not reason to <laughs> Well, you know, we're interested, too, because there's her side, there's his side, and there's the other woman's side, and she is here today. Ron, would you please... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to see what you <laughs> How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You too. Would you state your name, please, for the record? Latanya Smith. And Miss Smith, what is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Gibson? Um, I actually met him through POF, so we actually never established a relationship. Did he? ever expressed to you that he was in a relationship? Nope, he told me he was single. <laughs> he specifically told you he was single? Yep. So this wasn't a presumption that you made just because you were on a dating site? No, he told me he was single. Did you ever receive any photographs from him? Um, I did. Um, I received one where, um, he was standing by a truck or whatever and he was telling me that was his truck and that was just the truck. All right. Okay. All right, let's take a look. So, this is a picture of a truck. This is the picture that he sent you saying, you know, this is my truck. Yeah. Okay. Well, can we... Ron, would you take this to Ms. Pound? Would you look at it and tell us whether that's your truck or somebody else's truck? That's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Gibson, if you're in a relationship with Ms. Pounds, why are you telling Ms. Smith you single and that all that Ms. Pounds is paying for belongs to you? Ask Ms. Pound why she... Oh, uh, no, oh, no, oh. no, 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 no! Why would she tell... All right, go ahead. You about to make me curse up in here. <laughs> now, I'm gonna ask you one more again, as my grandmother said. Why did you do what you did? Well, at that time, she was telling me to go sow my robes. Hmm. Out of her mouth. She, she a witness. She right there. You know what? Mm -mm. I'm gonna let you talk to her, Mr. Cullen. Miss Pounds, you shaking your head. Did, did you tell him that? This is what happened. He want to go out to the club. I, I, we get dressed to go out. He be looking at women when we together. 
Mm. I seen it in it, and I told him, you are not ready. All this stuff that you're doing, you're not ready to be in a relationship. You need to go be by yourself and get all that wildness out of you. Mm. That's what I told him. That he took it. Let me tell you. No, no. Let me tell you. He took it as if I told him to go do it while he with me. That's oh. what he took it as. So, Miss Smith, let's just cut to the chase here. Okay. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. All right. Get down to it. Did you have a sexual relationship with Mr. Gibson? No, we never had a sexual relationship. Never got that far. Uh, we only talked by phone for maybe about a week. Then the young lady actually called me of the day of that morning that he's actually supposed to... We supposed to meet up that evening. So you all made plans to meet up. Right. But when she called me, that nipped it in the bud for me. Well, I think we have... I know I have. Just go <laughs> on. <laughs> I, I'm... I just put a fork in me. I am done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey. All right. <laughs> the court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call court expert Guy Wolf and licensed mm -hmm. certified polygraph examiner Dave Lawrence to determine is he cheating? <laughs> So, Mr. Wolf, you have more than a dozen years in investigation and more than 20 years in law enforcement. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am, it is. So, what did you do to investigate this case? So, before Mr. Gibson took his polygraph exam, I sent Mr. Gibson into a room with one of my colleagues. Wow. My colleagues posed as a litigant who was be being accused of using his phone to cheat on his girlfriend. Mr. Gibson loosened up with my colleague and began to start spilling the beans. He stated that he uses dating apps all the time and that he also was glad that the court did not summon his phone because he would have destroyed it. Hmm. So, did Mr. Gibson admit being intimate with any of these women that he's met online? He did, Your Honor. Mr. Gibson stated that he has had sex with women he has met on dating sites, but that he's not had sex with all of them. And since I... They had Mr. Gibson? Do. We're talking about when mm -mm. we were together. I ain't got nothing to do with my past. So you're saying that the women that you met on the dating site that you slept with, that you confessed to, were before you were with Miss Powell? Yes, because I hadn't had no sexual intercourse with no woman since I've been with her. Well, we get ready to go to the lie detector. Yeah, exactly. They right there. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lawrence, you are a sort of our polygraph examiner, correct? Yes, sir. And you administered a polygraph examination on Mr. Gibson, correct? Yes, correct. You sir. asked him a series of questions. I did. Right. You asked Mr. Gibson, since being in a relationship with Ms. Pounds, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Ms. Pounds? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <clears throat> Gibson? <laughs> I never had no sexual intercourse oh, with a woman. Liar, liar. You still denying it? Hey, I told, I told the truth. It was no. And I know I haven't. All right. <laughs> You asked Mr. Gibson, since being in a relationship with Ms. Pounds, have you had sexual intercourse with women whom you met on dating sites other than Ms. Pounds? What was his response? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. Oh. <laughs> well, you got... Really? You scored a perfect 100. <laughs> Let me just say this. Go ahead, love. I'm gonna let you speak first, cause... No, Miss Pounds, I mean, you kinda knew. He ain't never been no good since he got to me, so... It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. He can never speak to me or, or never again. And you're done. Done. You're done. Finished. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Gibson, you've been set free. She's been set free, but you've been set free. But it comes at a price because you lost out on a good woman. Right. There was a woman who cared about you. I don't know. And then to play this game of, I don't know, you can stand there from here to tomorrow and beyond and say you didn't, but you I, did. No, I didn't. You did. You did. Right. Nah. Out. <laughs> I just, I can't. Out of my pocket. Because I can't even have it. <laughs> We have counseling available for you. Talk to our counselor when you leave here so that you can make the first steps on a new chapter, a better chapter in your life that you deserve. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned.